Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to look at something that I've had requested quite a few times through our YouTube channel. Um, when you put comments in there, if uh, they sound like good things to show in a skill builder, I go and add them to a list, and sometimes they show up in videos like today. Something we had a couple requests for was showing a few skills that could be used for layout. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is not meant to be taken as a comprehensive training session for layout, but what I did want to do is look at how to take your SketchUp file and kind of set it up and get it ready to go out into layout so you have the best chance of creating the best possible output once you get there. So with that, we're going to hop right in. All right, so I have this house. We've seen this a couple times before. Uh, we're going to take this house and we're going to take it out to layout. So one of the big things about when you get into layout is what you want to spend your time in layout doing is adding the things that layout was made for. We're going to put the 2D assets on top of our imagery. We're going to put title bars on. We're going to do that kind of stuff in layout. What I don't want to spend time in layout doing is cleaning up a viewport, make sure everything looks good and and swapping layers or that kind of stuff. I don't want to have to mess with those things. So what I'm going to do is set up as much of that as possible in my SketchUp model before I ever even step into layout. So this house right here, you can see one thing I want to point out is I have all these layers. So this is a, a very, uh, there's a lot of information in this model. Um, all the framings model, everything's in here, but I'm not even going to care about that. I'm going to basically not look at layers for what I'm about to do. What I'm going to do is, one, make sure my styles are set up. So I'm going to have this standard style right here. This is the one I'll use for things like floor plans and for my 3D views. And then I'll probably create a second style, which will be just a white one, where I can look at making more traditional type uh, layout imagery. So like just a 2D flat line drawing kind of thing. Everything else is going to be done with scenes. When I leave here, I want just a stack of scenes that I'm going to be able to use as viewports in layout. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up right now. So before I save a single scene though, so here's what I generally do. And I say this because I've done this multiple times. I will go in and I will do something like uh, I'll create and save my, my uh, elevation views. So I'll go through and get all these. I'll save them as scenes, get them set up. And then the next thing I do is I go in and try to put my section cuts in. The problem is if I add section cuts to this model, they're going to automatically show up in any scenes I've already created. So if I create this front scene, I'm just going to create it right now. I'm going to come here, say, create that. And then, of course, because good practice, I would come in here and say this is the front because I'm all about good practices. So if I come in here now, say I made all my, my scenes and then I come in to make my next, uh, my first section cut and I will call this section cut A and I'll put an A on it and I'm going to place it up against this wall and I'm going to move it through to about there and I'm actually going to go in and play with my styles a little bit and actually get, uh, edit my style and say I want to see a section fill and I'll pull my line like down and maybe make, rather than having a black section fill, this is a little, little too intense, a little too dark side right there. I'm going to maybe take that and go with something like a, a paler gray. So that looks like a pretty good view. Maybe I'll right click here and I'll say align my view to that section. And then uh, that looks good. So if this is what I want to say for a section, I would just come in here and say, save that. I'm creating a new style because I did go through and change my section fill. That's fine. Save that as a new style and create the scene. So now I have this. This is good. This is what I want to see. My issue is if I jump back to my front view, I have this in it. As you add things to your model, they show up in old scenes. Remember, scenes set a whole bunch of information, camera, visibility, style, fog, shadows, all that stuff gets saved. What is not saved is new things. So if I add a new thing, it assumes I want to see it and it puts it in there. So I'm saying all this to say, as I prepare to send this out to layout, what I want to do is get all of my sections in here. So what I may do in that case 
is add. So there's my section this direction. Maybe I want to put in a section, I'll call this section B. So I'll get that set up and then now I can actually save both those. I'm also going to go in, I'm going to deactivate this cut and I'm going to create two more sections which will be my floor plan sections. So I'm just going to do that super fast right now. Okay, so there we go. We have all of the sections. I'm going to deactivate that cut. There's my two sections for the floor plans, my two sections for my sections. And once that's done, now I can go about creating my scenes for layout. So I'm going to do that right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm just going to select both of these scenes and delete them. And we're going to start from scratch. So I'm going to come out here. I'm going to deactivate this cut. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my elevation views. So I'll go to my front view. I'm going to go to my camera and change it to parallel projection. That's what I want. And I don't need any sections visible. So what I can do is select all the sections, right click, and just hide those. I don't have to have those. All right, I'm going to blow this up nice and big. When I actually get to layout, I will probably scale this to a specific scale based on the page I'm printing to. But for right now, this is what I need. So I just get it nice and big in the screen. I'm going to hit plus. And there's my new scene. I'm going to call it, of course, front. I could go with north, south, east, and west if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to switch around here. I'm going to make this into a new scene. All right, so with that, my elevations are done. So I'm going to move on to my sections. Uh, I'm going to get out. Well, this is actually kind of a stylistic choice here. If I want to show any, uh, if I want this parallel projection or perspective, I'm going to get my sections turned down with my outliner. I'm going to come down here. Actually close these scenes up a little bit. Don't need quite so much room in scenes. Don't need to invest so much desktop into scenes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through here and I'm going to uh, find my sections in Outliner. Outliner is great because it keeps everything in alphabetical order. So I know that I named my sections first floor, second floor, and then I named the sections section. So I can just jump to S down here at the bottom. So I'm going to activate section A. I'm going to right click on the section. and say activate cut and right click again and say align view. So that means I'm looking right at that view. I'm going to zoom in there like that. I don't actually need the section cut itself visible, just what it's doing. So when I click outside of there, so I never actually turn it to visible. I just picked on it. So it, it's kind of nice because I don't have to worry about right clicking and saying now turn it back off. When I pick it in the side, it's going to pick it even though it's still visible. So clicking outside turns it back off. All right. So right now, this looks good. I'm going to go ahead and create that as a new scene and call that Section A. Bet you guys knew that was coming. All right, to turn it off, I can actually come over to Outliner, right click on Outliner, and you have to go in here over here and say deactivate that cut. And now I can do the same with Section B. I can just right click on it. I can say activate cut, right click again, align view. And then if I click outside of that anywhere else in the model, it goes away. And I can plus save that as section B, because that's what it was called. All right, exact same process now to get uh, my two floor plans. So I'm gonna generate these two floor plans and then this model will be ready to go to layout. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna right click on section B deactivate that cut, come up here, scroll up to first floor, I'm going to right click, activate, right click again, align view. You guys are sick of this by now, huh? You get it. You understand. So just to throw this in, this is, this would be good. This could be go out right now. Like it is, I could do a couple things to this one. If I want to get something a little bit different from a standard plan view, I could come up to, um, my camera and turn on perspective. What perspective is going to give me is a little bit of depth there. See that? So I can actually create my layout 
kind of a unique look where it's not just that 2D plan view. That's an option. I could save this right now and actually have that there. If I do want the more traditional, I want to be looking straight down on it, that's where I come to camera and turn on parallel projection, and that's going to give me that straight down look. Something else I have the option of changing right now is if I don't want these uh, colors in here, this is where I could use my styles, like get a view that I like, and uh, once I have that 2D view that I like, that I want, that's when I come in and I go to scenes, I save that as a new scene. So this is my first floor. And then the cool thing is, so I'll save that. If I just come right now back into Outliner and I go to my first floor, second floor, if I select my first floor, deactivate it, it's staying in that same style. So if I come here to my second floor and I say activate that cut, there's a cut just through that uh, first floor. Click off that. So now I can just look at that and I can just, it's going to use the exact same styles I had before. So I can just say plus and second floor. So with that, I'm now done. And, and it always pays to run back through your scenes. I should point that out. If I look at my front view, looks good. I'm going to be running through a lot of stuff here. So I'm going to go to view animation settings and I'm going to disable scene transitions. That's going to make it a lot quicker. So what I can do now with that disabled is I can just flip through each of these views, make sure it's what I want, make sure the right things are showing on each level. And if that looks good, then I'm ready to go file save. and file, send to layout. And that's as far as I'm gonna go today because I'm out of time. But I'll make another video, which will actually be the process of importing this and setting that up on different sheets and actually start the process of creating uh, those drawings. So hopefully that was good. That was a good primer for getting into layout. Uh, let me know if you liked it. If you didn't like it, down below, you can subscribe or like. If you subscribe, then you'll know when the next video comes out, the second part of this, and you'll be even better at layout. Leave us a comment for other ideas you have, the things that you think would make good skill builders or things you want to know more about. Like making these videos, but like them a lot more when they're showing something that you want to see. Thank you.